Okay, chat. Um, so we have a problem that needs to be addressed today. First of all, whenever I did that Ryan Trahan video, I feel like some of it was kind of selfish. So I feel like today I'm going to be righting my wrongs and make a video for the right reasons. Rather, making a video... When I did the Ryan Trahan video, um, I feel like I did the right thing, but for the wrong reasons. And you can interpret that however you will. But anyways, um, today's video that we're going to be reacting to is from 24 Frames of Nick. Um, shit. <laughs> and I'm just going to react to it and I'll let you know my thoughts and everything as we go along. So, yeah, let's just get into it. I've recorded this exact video about five times in the last year, and each time I just get too scared to upload it. But I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna do it now. I'm just gonna do it. I find it hard to believe that I've been uploading videos on this channel for seven years now. In that time, I feel like I've barely found a voice for myself or separated myself from the rest. When I first made this channel, it was hard for me just to speak. I always had a difficulty not stuttering words or saying words correctly, and the only way I could really talk and make videos i also have that that problem sometimes sorry that that was that was me um no i have a stuttering problem and i need to think about things before i say them most of the time or i think about things too long before i say them and then that adds a lot of pauses that are just completely unnecessary um but yeah, let's just keep going. This was heavy scripts recording the same lines over and over again. I mean, even now I'm using a script to talk to you because it's just so hard for me to think of what to say even when I know what I want to say. When I was 18, I looked to YouTube as a way to save myself. I had no future, no career promise. I couldn't afford college, couldn't get into college. I was a dumb, lazy idiot. My parents, I loved them so much, worked paycheck to paycheck, letting me pursue this dumb idea of being a YouTuber, and somehow it worked for a while. I looked to the one thing I really love to talk about and act like I knew more than most people about movies. I loved talking about movies, so why not get paid to talk about movies, right? And for years, this was a blast. Yeah. I had so many fun videos that at the time I thought were hilarious and showed off my personality. I could never. To be fair, he makes very good videos. I think those are some of the most excellent youtube commentary uh movie commentary videos that i've seen like they're actually funny and entertaining and not many people can say that they're like laughing along with the commentary video about a movie like i i think he's done something pretty special here never narrowed down my own way of thinking or any distinctive trait that i had but i just kept at it and had as much fun as I could. Along the way, I made some videos I was really passionate about, stuff that made me overjoyed that people would even listen to me gush over. I always ask myself, why do people really care? Why do they even care what I think? I've never felt like a good writer or a good reviewer. I've never felt confident in myself even when it seems like I'm trying to say an objective truth. You know I like to over exaggerate because it's fun, it spices up engagement, and it's funny sometimes. But it seems like for the longest time that's just become stale with me. I did one thing that worked for me years ago and tried doing that. So he brings up that he feels like his videos are becoming stale. I mean... I haven't watched him in a few months now. Uh, I haven't watched, to be honest, a lot of his new videos. And I feel like I'm part of the problem because of this and why he's feeling this way now. But, I mean, I don't think his videos have gotten any worse or anything or the quality suffered. But I've always found his videos entertaining since since I started watching him like five years ago. So over and over and over again until it just didn't work anymore for me or anyone that would watch me 
people like to say I hate everything now, and I hate that I've made that my own public perception. Despite trying to highlight my favorite things here and there, I think the negativity outweighs it for most, and I get why it's so off-putting. When I try to approach these topics, I usually want the main message to be on how something can do better, how it can change. Yeah. And you know, I just try to act like I know what I'm talking about, and most of the time, I really don't. I just want to be heard. For years now, the quality. I'm not gonna lie. I want to make commentary videos about movies and TV shows, and I want to make things that make you think about the messages behind the themes and everything. But I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So, I feel like that's not a good path for me to go down, because why would I want to act like I know everything about something when I really know nothing about it? But that's what he's feeling, and I feel like he does know a good amount about movies and TV shows. And even there's a few video games that he's covered in his videos. So I I don't feel like he's faking knowing that this information, but I guess he says he was faking it and that he really knows nothing, but that's neither here nor there, so quality of my videos have only declined. I think that's very obvious, and I'm sorry. I haven't been happy for a very long time. Every day I struggle, I fight, I just don't know what to do with myself. And on top of all of it, I'm broke. I'm really, really broke. It's not funny, but you know. When I first started making videos, they were doing amazing. And like How'd he go broke? Huh. Wait, hold on. Huh, weird. It seems like his videos have been doing a pretty good amount of views, but I guess in the last year he's posted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, about 14 videos in a year, so maybe that's the reason? I don't know. Like I said, it was so fun, and the money was great on top of it. So I got to make stuff that I l so I got to make stuff I like and live comfortably. But I always had this imposter syndrome in my head that this won't last. I won't be able to keep this up forever. I won't be that successful, happy YouTuber forever who has people that listen to him and care. From the very beginning, I always saw this falling apart. I saw. Yeah, I think every YouTuber thinks about how. Um, their livelihood could just come crumbling down if nobody watches them anymore. At least the smart ones do, because they prepare um, for the future. For in case that does happen, and then they just become irrelevant, then they'll still have something to fall back on, and they can just go back to their daily life and job or whatever myself falling off and a couple years ago i just made that happen for myself i got addicted to gambling i took every dollar i earned from oh, okay that's how he went broke he went he got addicted to gambling i'm assuming um online gambling most likely Sponsors and AdSense and just poured it into gambling thinking oh, sh if I could just oh, win no. big then maybe I'll be safe and secure and just make videos I'm happy about and never have to worry again but that's the that's the way the gambling system works it draws you in with the um potential to make hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars but who ever really holds on to that? The more you, the more you make, the more you're gonna want to spend to make more. In that sense, it's kind of like stocks and trading crypto. But you're, it's it's exactly what the word is. It's gambling your money away. I mean, you're bound to lose it at some point and then have nothing so yeah 
that started a destructive cycle for me. I destroyed myself for a very, very long time. I ruined my life and I took on so much debt and overdrew tens of thousands of dollars in credit cards. I ruined everything for myself, and even though I've stopped gambling and stopped making choices like that, the damage was just too large to ever recover. And that awful choice is still hurting me. <laughs> yeah. I... Yeah, not everyone gets a get out of debt free card. Um... I don't know. I feel it's a shitty situation overall. But hopefully I can bring aware awareness to this and maybe help out at least a little bit. It's fucked up my day to day. It's ruined my health. I feel like Damn. I've just been coasting. Oh, he's crying. I feel like I've just been coasting for so long just waiting for me to wake up from this awful thing that I did to myself so long ago. I kept making videos that I was happy with for the most part. But yeah. they were more so just to keep myself alive and pay rent. And then, and then on top of all of it, my mom got cancer and I couldn't help her. Oh, shit. That, oh. Well, that hits hard. What the fuck? It Damn. I couldn't help her. My mom, who always took care of me my entire life, got triple negative breast cancer. Her son that had this big successful YouTube channel making decent money and being comfortable, I couldn't help her. I, I couldn't do anything. I was so fortunate, so lucky that so many people helped her. When I made a GoFundMe, people helped her and saved her life. But I couldn't do anything. I feel that. <sighs> I've always felt if I was fortunate enough to have a lot of money like that, that I would want to do something good for, or good for the world or good for my family, friends. Um, you know, help everybody else out. <laughs> but yeah, you making money off of YouTube and then your mom getting cancer and you gambling all your money away and then not being able to help her is, oh my gosh, that's, and I'm sure he was making a lot of money too. Oh, wow. And that destroyed me. That really fucking destroyed me. And for the longest time, it's destroyed me. And I've just been so unhappy and not knowing how to get better or do anything. It's, it's just been really fucking hard. And so I just tried to numb myself. I didn't face any of my issues. I didn't take any steps towards my mental health or try to get better or anything no matter how many times I said I would. I just tried to numb myself and push it all down and get past it all and act like none of it was there. None of my debt was there. None of my mom's issues was there. Nothing was there. I just pushed it all down and just tried to look past it all. And I, I don't know why. I don't know why I did stuff like that. I tried doing stupid, dumb things that I thought were an escape from everything, but it really wasn't. It really was just me pushing everything away and not facing it head on <laughs> like some dumb idiot. And then when I was ready, I grew up a little. Last year, I got a job. An actual grown-up. No, you're, you're not an idiot, man. I mean... You're a victim of the horrible, evil cycle of system of gambling. I, I, I don't, I've never heard any story about gambling that's ended positively. I don't, I don't know a single one. Job, and it's a really good job. It doesn't pay amazingly, but it keeps a roof over my head. It's kept me living and I'm still there and really enjoying it. I was lucky enough to find it, and it's just something I want to focus on more than YouTube. 
I love YouTube. I love making videos. I love talking about movies, but I don't love making videos for the sake of money, for the sake of surviving. And so I'm probably going to upload on this channel even less. It's probably not the smartest thing for me to do because I'm still very much in debt about $36,000 in debt to be exact, but I'd rather struggle and be happy than push to the That's more money than I've ever had in one place in my whole life. $36,000. Wow. At least it's not like that one guy that we uh, talked about from Twitch. Uh, what was that, a year ago at this point? At least it's not like that, where he owes like hundreds of people hundreds of thousands of dollars that he's never going to have. And see, he got a j get out of debt free card, not a get out of jail free card. He went to jail, I'm sure. Um, but the Twitch community came through and basically saved his ass from having to pay off all that money to everyone that he scammed out for the rest of his life. So. Lucky for him, I guess. Be unhappy. I know it might take the rest of my life to get better, to get happier, to be free of this debt and everything, but maybe that's what I deserve. Basically what I'm trying to say with all of this, I've been making terrible choices for years, for a very long time, but I've recently tried to get better, and I want to show that in my content, my videos, and everything. I want to spend my time making things I care about, and that hopefully even just a tiny bit of people will also care about. I want to change how I approach videos and do it all differently, and this might not be immediate. There's still some videos that I have mostly done that I'm really passionate about and want people to enjoy, but I really don't want to be that negative guy. I started this channel because I love movies, I love the art, and I love stories. I just want to do better. I want to be better. I'm getting so old and I'm still figuring this shit out. I feel like all I do is whine about being better and getting happier. That's all I say now, and I know that must be annoying. But anyways, thanks for listening. I can't believe how much... He's been struggling, and for how long it's been. And he was likely told by the world, don't tell anyone your feelings, because that makes you weak, like most people are. Most people are told that, so. Um, so my call of action to this video is... If you want to check out some of his videos, like, you don't even have to donate to the guy. Like, I think he has a donation link. I'm not going to put that in. But if you just want to watch some of his videos, I mean, take a few minutes just to watch some of his videos. Like, they're incredible. He makes some of the best, or some of my favorite content on YouTube. Because I love movie commentary videos. And these are movie commentary videos that are actually funny. So, maybe you'll find something in here that you like. Um, so, that'll be it. But the call to action for myself is on stream, I'm going to watch every single one of his videos.